In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Windows 11 basically on any device. First step, type in the URL that you see on the screen. Hit enter. You're going to log in with your credentials. Click on start now. Wait a couple seconds. And there you go. So that's pretty much it. It's that easy to access a fully functioning Windows 11 machine using just your web browser. So with that said, keep in mind, since it's a web browser, you can pretty much put it on any machine. If you're running uh, Chrome OS, if you're running any kind of Linux distro, or if you're running even Mac OS, um, you could log into a Windows machine. You can have a two PD PC setup where this, this is how I make content is that I use my local mach machine to record. And then I use my virtual machines to game off of. So it's really great because I don't need to have such a powerful computer because half of the work and the major part of the work is being done in the clouds. Um, this is maintained by Shadow. Um, all we got to do is just like a function of your computer is you got to do the little updates here and there. Um, but more, more or less in time, you don't have to do that much because uh, they do some behind the scenes. But the only um, difference between the shadow application itself, which I'll show you briefly here in the web browser, is that you don't get that much customization. So, like, you could do your mic, have your mic work. Wow, oh, uh, microphone, microphone to go through. So now our microphone is being sent to here. That's good for you doing content and making uh, videos. But if you want to look on the difference between the app and the actual web browser, so again, this is the web browser. I'm going to close out of that. I'm going to go to the actual Shadow PC app. So here we are. This is the application version. So if you notice, if I click on this, you get way more things to play with here. Like in video quality, you can do a uh, enable a dual screen. You can uh, adjust audio settings. You can control how much network is going through, how much data you want to send, etc. You can monitor your stuff pretty well here. Um, you could add controllers, Bluetooth devices, etc. You get a lot more functionality when it comes to here. But in a pinch, if you can't download this app, you're still able to access it through the web browser. So again, this is the desktop version with the application. And again, just how easy it is to access your shadow PC through the web. Here I am logging into the web. And just like that, I'm in. So Super simple. So again, this video is pretty short because it's just that simple. Um, the web browser is great because you could pretty much use Windows 11 with Shadow PC or Windows 10 on pretty much any device that could support the internet in a browser. And that's great because that's such a powerful tool to have in your pocket, literally. You can run this off of your phone. Um, if you can't download an app, this is the next best thing. Um, the app gives you a little bit more customization, but just for pure usage you're more than able to get away with this all right if you guys like this video please leave a like make sure you hit that subscribe button for future cloud tech videos and uh hope you guys have a good day and i'll see you in the clouds